Okay, so here is a second method of binding that is quite handy. And these are little eyelets. They're generally used for, you can use them on fabric or paper. They're used for making button or holes in, for belts. You can use them for, this is where I used it for a movie prop. Oh, it's not on that one. Um, they use it in old documents sometimes like to hold something like that, like a passport photo on. So I've used it for that method as well. Um, so I'm not going to go through how I measured out the holes here. Um, if you want to see that, look at my tutorial on Japanese book binding. Um, it's exactly the same process. So, um, and I used one of these, you know, screw punches for doing that. So go over and look at the other one, the other tutorial, and you'll see how to do that. But what you want to have is, I mean, you can have as many holes as you like. You could have one just at the top corner if you want it. Um, I've gone for four. So these are little eyelets. And this is an eyelet punch. So obviously, depending, you can get eyelets of different sizes. Um, as in the circumference here or the radius, you can get wider ones and smaller ones. And then you can get ones that are different heights as well. Okay, so you have to be careful with the amount of pages. Like my Japanese book binding, you can have as many pages as you like. With this one, you can see here I started to push into the holes these eyelets and you can see there has to be a little bit sort of sticking out the back okay and um, if I and I didn't I don't have that many pages because I only have the small eyelets but if you want to bind a lot of pages you'll have to buy the, the uh, thicker or the higher eyelets but you can see I've started to push them through there um, yeah. They're falling apart. Or maybe, maybe I'll do the first, get the first one to work. And you'll see how it goes. So with this eyelet punch, if you notice, the, there's one end here that has a little bit sticking up. And then there's another end there that kind of has a hole. And what you do is you clamp the eyelet down in between that. And the bit that's sticking out of the back gets pushed flat. Okay. So... I have one in place there. In fact, I'll put that aside there. The bit that has the sticky up part goes behind. And it's it is rather fiddly, but you will get the hang of it. Come on, I let you can do it. Okay. So essentially what it does is it flattens out the back of it. Oh, I just try that again. Probably could have got a few more pages in there. So it just flattens the back out and sort of holds the pages on at the front. Let's do another one. Yeah, these are, um, I don't know what you'd call it, like a brass kind of finish. You can get all different finishes. You can get coloured ones, a like chrome finish. Um, different sizes so go and have a look depending on the project that you want to do I just happen to have these ones I got these on eBay as well and they were tricky enough to get I went around a whole load of kind of craft shops in Dublin and um, I couldn't find them anywhere and then I, I ended up getting them on eBay and they were cheap but I had to get them shipped from China So it just took a while for them to arrive at the post. Oh, looks good. Now the only problem with these is the Japanese book binding is good because you can undo, you can just pick, unpick, which is what I did with this. You can just unpick your stitching. With this binding, you can't really do that. The pages are pretty much locked in place. Come on, I look. Um... So yeah, you have to be sure don't go and do this and then look through your pages and realise that you have something, if there's information on your pages, that you have something in the wrong place. Now. Yay! Here we go. Another binding. The same applies for this. If you have pages with information on them, you'd want to leave. I mean, you can see it doesn't flatten out. Oh, I'd say at least a centimetre, if not another centimetre and a half on the side here. But yeah, that is another 
way of bookbinding. And one thing that you can do with this one is, um, it takes a little bit of effort, but if you wanted to have, say, I don't know, a piece of ribbon here, you know, like a bookmark kind of thing, you can kind of clamp a piece of ribbon onto this, you know, coming out of it, and that can be like the bookmarker. So it's kind of nice little things you can do. And that, uh, that looks quite pretty.